Hi again, we'll now look at one typical application and show how STM32L4 can help you significantly reduce your bill of material. Of course, keeping STM32L4 on board. This application gathers the data from external analog sources via isolated AD converters and guards their limits with voltage comparators. The filtering of incoming sigma delta modulated signal requires high CPU load and comparators need additional external components. Another analog data are gathered for vibration analysis with MEMS microphones. Their pulse density modulated signal also requires high CPU load resulting in high active time and higher consumption. The USB is provided for transfer of the processed data to the host system. The need to signal USB reconnection requires external resistor and the additional hardware on the Data Plus line. The actuator power stage connected to this microcontroller needs external pull-up to define proper levels when the device is in low power mode to prevent any disastrous events. The currents measured on the shunt resistors present additional challenge. They are small and need to be amplified by external op amps and brought in by internal ADCs. Finally, the data collected from all sensors needs to be stored in a big memory. So why not to connect external NOR flash via external memory interface? Now let's look at the STM32L4 implementation and how it can help you. The data from external analog sources provided via isolated ADC are processed in DFSDM peripheral without any CPU burden. Even the dangerous signal levels can be detected by internal comparators. MEMS microphones are connected directly to another DFSDM channels, providing zero effort stream to the internal memory. The USB support in STM32L4 guarantees direct connectivity, including the internal pull-up resistor and software reconnection feature. The actuator power stage is kept safe with internally programmable pull-up or pull-down resistors available in lowest power modes. The currents measured on the shunt resistors are conditioned by internal programmable gain amplifiers and digitalized with fast internal ADCs. The programmable gain amplifiers offer externally or internally set gain, including low-pass filtering option. The NOR flash on external memory interface requires a bunch of wires. The Quad SPI is a much more better alternative when PCB cost and area are your concern. So you see that STM32L4 wins in all these points. The STM32L4 offers much more. Listing only few more features, I'd like to add separate power supply for GPIO port G pins 2 to 15 and for USB peripheral. The first allows to interface low voltage appliances down to 1.08 volts without voltage level shifters. Second can reduce current consumption when USB cable is not connected. The current peaks in the power supply are reduced by the new MCU design offering low requirements for supply filtering. Interconnection matrix connects a lot of peripherals internally like timers, analog to digital and digital to analog converters with programmable gain amplifiers and comparators, DMA units, external interrupts and events so that less GPIOs need to be used for external connections. And still much more, by the way, the exhaustive reference manual offers over 1700 pages of features explained. Thank you very much for listening and enjoy the development on STM32L4.